Hey guys, what's up? How's everybody doing today? I've got another short, sort of quick uh, movie review today. I do have my notes. If you've watched any of my other reviews, which I've only done like three or four or five or so, haven't done many, but I do use notes and I am not a professional. I just give you kind of a quick overview of what I've seen and how I feel about it and with a little rating system at the end. So, let's get started. The movie I just watched today is called Legend of the Lost Tomb. It came out in 1997. It was directed by Jonathan Winfrey. It stars Rick Rosovich as Dr. Eric Leonhard. Leonhard? Uh, that's the guy from Top Gun. He played Slider. Um, we have Brock Pierce, who plays John Robbie. Uh, that's Dr. Eric Leonhardt's son. We have Kimberly Peterson as Karen Lacey. She plays a student of the, uh, doctor, uh, Eric Leonhardt. And then we have the bad guy, uh, Stacy Keach as Dr. William Bent. Uh, basically, the story is, while excavating near the pyramids, Dr. Leonhardt finds a small box. The box contains a map to the hidden treasure of Pharaoh Ramses II. On his way to give the map to local authorities, uh, Dr. Leonhardt is taken captive by Dr. Bent. The kids get the map first and go looking for Dr. Leonhardt. Leonhardt, I have trouble with that name. It's really a weird name. All the while being pursued by Dr. Bent and his goons. Really just one goon. And he's kind of kind of a clumsy comedic kind of goon at that. Uh, my breakdown of the movie is if you like movies like Indiana Jones, National Treasure, Tomb Raider, uh, if you're a fan of The Librarians that came out in the early 2000s, uh, there's three movies from that, and then the TV series that came on, uh, TNT, it was on like four seasons, I believe. Uh, if you like those kind of things, uh, this movie might scratch your itch. Uh, it's nowhere the quality of these movies, but it does give a slight hint of adventure, uh, some attempts at humor um, that are not that great, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, don't take the movie too seriously. It's not bad, but most of the movie involves the two kids being chased by Dr. Bent and not enough real adventure until the third act. Uh, the third act tries to, to give us a little bit more of the uh, adventure and the, you know the exploration and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I have seen worse and I have seen better. Um, it's, it's a very uh, toned down movie. Uh, anyone, you know, kids can watch it. There's not a lot. There's not cussing. There's nothing dirty. There's nothing violent. I, the only thing I don't even think the bad guys uh, had guns. I know the, uh, the Doctor Bent, William Bent, the bad guy. Uh, he has a sword at one point, and then they threaten people with scorpions. <laughs> so, I, I don't think I ever seen a gun. So it's, it's family friendly if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, the locations and the sets are great. I will say that. Uh, the cinema photography is decent enough. Uh, the musical scores, not that bad. Uh, it's got your typical music that sounds kind of adventurous and, and action-y at times. <coughs> um... I think my overall score for this movie would have to be 2.5 out of 5. 
that probably sounds really bad, but at the same time I'm comparing it to movies like Indiana Jones, uh, which every movie is going to fall short of that in, in this genre. Like, nothing's going to beat uh, any of the Indiana Jones movies, even Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, for those of you that don't like that. So, I, I recommend watching it if you're looking for just a kickback uh, ad adventure type movie, something you may not have seen uh, to, like I said, scratch that itch. So, there you have it. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to be editing this I'm going to be editing this review on some new software that I'm trying. Uh, it's called Filmora. It's actually called Wondershare Filmora 9. Um, I don't have the paid version. I'm just using a trial, a uh, free version. And it is going to have a watermark, uh, which kind of stinks. But uh, it, I, I have to learn somewhere because I've been using Windows Movie Maker all this time for all my videos. And I want to move up just a step, and this program is a really nice step up. It's easy to use, but it has a lot more features and stuff, so I'm really looking forward to buying the, the full program. So I just wanted to say that, and uh, anyway, give Legend of the Lost Tomb a try, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget, everyone, even when you're doing a movie review, don't forget... Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. We'll see you.